Lindmar LMTV, Lindmar Television. Lindmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Lindmar. It's Monday, National Women's Checkup Day, May 9th, 2016. Here's a look at the news making news on your Lindmar campus. Our top story, Lindmar has hired a new athletic director. Mr. David Brown will replace Mr. Maimons, who is retiring this summer. Mr. Brown comes to us from Spencer, Iowa, where he's the activities director. He oversees 33 activities for students at Spencer Middle and High School. Pending board approval, Mr. Brown will begin his new job as athletic director at Linmar on July 1st. We want to take a moment to officially and publicly thank Mr. Maimons for his generous support for LMTV over the years, and we want to wish him well in the future. In other news, it's time for a prom update. We welcome Marissa, LMTV's anchor in training, for the very latest. Marissa? Prom tickets went on sale this morning outside the Upper Commons Library. There will be a sale each morning through Thursday from 7.35 to 8.25. Prices are $18 per person or $30 per couple. Tickets will be available at the door, but they'll be more expensive. Students who have MOC or Kirkwood classes may purchase tickets between 12 and 1.30 from Mrs. Crandall in the 11.12 office through Thursday. Also, if you plan on buying Grand March tickets, they're available for seniors only through tomorrow. Juniors can buy tickets Wednesday, and anyone else who wants to purchase tickets can purchase them on Thursday. Grand March tickets are $3 each. Colton, back to you. Why, thank you, Marissa. And speaking of prom, any students with outstanding parking fines or detentions will not be allowed to go to prom. Please pay your fines and serve your detentions before prom so you can enjoy the dance. And don't forget about post-prom. It's got a cool new theme and a cool new location. Chillin' All Night is at the Cedar Rapids Ice Arena from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Saturday night. And it's free! Bring your tennis shoes to play broom ball on the ice and bring your appetite for plenty of free food. And don't forget, there's karaoke and fabulous prices. And yes, the hypnotist will be back to thrill and amaze the crowd. Juniors and seniors don't have to go to prom to join in the fun of post-prom. Check it out this Saturday night from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. at the Cedar Rapids Ice Arena. We'll be back with more LMT news right after this. Leave your legacy on the Linmar campus by a commemorative brick paver. The bricks are displayed at the Estadium and outside the Aquatic Center. They're just $100 each. Order forms are available on the Linmar District website. The brick pavers are a lasting way to honor your connection to the Linmar campus. Order yours today. Welcome back. Hey seniors, if you didn't pick them up last week, caps and gowns will be handed out Wednesday from 11, 8 to 11 a.m. at door one. Now Jasmine is here with the sports. Jasmine. Thanks Colton. On the scoreboard, boys tennis beat Jefferson 9 to nothing. Today in Linmar Sports, Varsity Girls Golf competes at Divisional Meet at the Meadows Golf Course at 9.30. Varsity Girls Tennis competes at Prairie at 4.30. Team dismissed at 3.15. JV girls and boys track compete in the Muscatine Invitational at 4.30. Teams dismissed at 1.30. That's sports, Colton. Back to you. Thank you very much, Jasmine. And news from the counselors. Seniors, start working on your checklists. Remember, you cannot walk across the stage at graduation if you have not collected all the required signatures. For more information on this story, stop by your counselor's office or check out their blog and website. And now, Nisa joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Colton. On the arts and club scene, the yearbook staff is now looking for new staff members for next year's yearbook. Go to the 1112 office to pick up an application. They are due back to the 1112 office by Friday, May 20th. If you have any questions, contact either Mrs. Middlecoff in the LRC in room 308 or one of the editor-in-chiefs. Their contact information is on posters all over the school. New TRI members are posted outside of Mr. McCauley's office. The first meeting for new members is Wednesday at 8.05 in the food court. Student ambassadors will meet Wednesday morning at 8 in the Little Theater. The meeting is for current members in grades 9 through 11 and those wishing to join. Applications for new members are available now in the 910 office. The annual Soda Sand Volleyball Tournament is this Friday. Pick up an entry form from Kevin McCulley. It's open to all students. If you are interested in trying out for show choir, sign-ups and information is now posted on the wall outside the choir room A101. Anime Club is getting ready for their end of the year party. If you are interested in attending, please sign up in Mrs. Rodriguez's room F-157. That's your club update, Colton. Back to you. Why, thanks, Nisa. 
Hey Jasmine, what wonderful lunch is cooking up for us today? Well Colton, it's baked lasagna with a romaine <laughs> salad mix and a breadstick or the potato bar. In the food court, it's sweet chili Thai chicken with seasoned brown rice and an egg roll. That's lunch, Colton. Back to you. That sounds delicious, Jasmine. Your LMTV forecast calls for a rainy day today with a chance of thunderstorms and a high of 70. Tomorrow has a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms as well with a high of 71 degrees. And Wednesday also looks rainy with a high of 76, or 68, I'm sorry. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the website, high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a fantastic day, Linmar.